Do you remember the nostalgia of walking down the video game aisle and seeing the wall of Skylander figures surrounding those display kiosks? Well, that's literally my room now. What's going on guys? It's the Skylander Dude, and yes, you heard that right. I can relive that nostalgia with the newest addition to my Skylanders collection. With Skylanders releasing a new installment each year in its prime, the Toys to Life aisle in Toys R Us, Target, Walmart, Best Buy, you name it, was not only filled with the figures, but also a large display kiosk to accompany each game. And I love them. Yeah, they're super nostalgic, but also a beautiful display piece for any diehard collector. That is, if you can find one. For obvious reasons, it was uncommon for these displays to make their way to fans, as they were often trashed or collected back by the company. And as years go on, they'll continue to get harder to find. But I'm always on the lookout. To give you an idea, I could count on one hand how many of these kiosks I've seen up for sale in the last year from eBay or Facebook Marketplace. And when they did show up, they weren't cheap. These are relics of the Skylanders franchise, and even broken displays go for hundreds. But if yours managed to fight for its life over the last decade and still functions, you'd be walking away with a lot more. Needless to say, I didn't have high hopes on finding one of these anytime soon, and especially not at a cheap cost. But recently, it came the time of year where a Spyro's Adventure store display happened to pop up for auction. It was labeled as untested, which could also mean broken, but we want you to feel like there's some hope. So bid higher. And also, poor Bash wanted to go on his own adventure and uh, didn't make it far. Either way, I kept my eye on it because this isn't an everyday occurrence. Though the starting bid was just $50 with 50 shipping, I knew this would soon skyrocket. Over the next few days, I thought of a max bid in my head to match what this display is worth to me. It's crazy cool, and even if it doesn't work, that display is unmatched. I assumed this would go for hundreds, so the number I had in mind was decently fair, but I didn't have high expectations. The day came of the auction's end, and I was low-key excited. Even though I didn't expect much, auctions of any kind always get me hyped. In the morning, it made it to around $150, but as time diminished, it went to $175, and $200, 225 250 as i watched the clock i slipped in my max bid with seconds left it passed 300 then hit 350 and the page started to refresh my bid was higher than 350 did i just win that surely other bids came in so last minute that the site couldn't even register it oh i did wow i i mean that's great but i really thought this would go for a lot higher i've seen broken ones sell for more did the untested condition scare away potential buyers? Or was it Bash? I don't know, and I don't care, because I won, baby! It was being shipped from across the country, so I was pretty worried about it getting damaged. Considering the lifeless Bash just loose in the case, I feared it would fly around during shipping and crack or break the acrylic. Fortunately, when it arrived, it seemed to be packed pretty well as it was an entire mission to set this thing free. Layers of cardboard, bubble wrap, and tape all led down to this display, and to my surprise, the awesome people that shipped this actually opened up the case and individually wrapped and taped down Bash so he wouldn't fly around. Massive shout out to whoever did that, I greatly appreciate it. Unfortunately though, the kiosk wasn't perfect. Whatever dust or dirt layer that stuck to the case needed to be cleaned up, and there was a small crack on the top corner. Luckily, it's small and not even noticeable from the front. So I cared for the thing like a child and cleaned it up to make it look as new as possible. I opened it up and resecured Bash into his place. And this also included taking out the 24D batteries in the bottom. Yeah, that's seven pounds worth of batteries and by some miracle, they didn't explode or leak all over the inside. The entire display runs off either these batteries or an AV adapter. Obviously, I went with ordering a $15 adapter rather than adding the additional weight to the already 25 pound kiosk and then going broke buying all the batteries. But now that it's in the best shape it could be, I'll show it off and hope for the best when testing it. And so here we are, the reveal of the Sparrow's Adventure store display. This thing is in great shape and looks beautiful. Such an amazing piece that any collector could agree upon. But the question is, does it still work after 12 years? I bought the right adapter to test this out 
and I haven't tried it yet. So this will be my first reaction to seeing if this works or not. All right, plugged it in. Just gotta find the hole in the back here. And, oh my gosh. Okay. Things are lighting up. There's Spire's Adventure on the display. And I don't know if you can hear this, there's some muffling in the speakers. I don't know if that's supposed to sound like that. I'm just gonna press the trailer and see how it sounds. For generations, oh my gosh. That is right. 12 years later, and I now have a fully functioning Skylander Spires Adventure store display. I don't know how to describe that. That was nostalgic. That was... I'm just so grateful that it works. <laughs> Gosh, everything works. All the lights, the sounds, the display. It is loud, so I'm going to... I'm gonna pick one character. I'm not sure how much the audio is gonna pick up or stay in, but let's see Spyro. Fired up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is awesome. So I'm not just gonna sit here and play everything for you guys. They're all just the standard character introduction trailers, but they do look great. What else is there to say? Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Peace.